Union Test Prep's Pharmacy Tech Practice Test, Routes of Drug Administration. Question 1. Drugs given via the perineural route bypass which system? A. Digestive, B. Vascular, C. Nervous, or D. Integumentary. The correct answer is A. Drugs given via the perineral route are not given by mouth and therefore bypass the digestive system. Perineral drugs can be given by any non-oral route and include IM and subcutaneous injections as well as IV and intradermal medications. Question 2. Which of the following is false regarding subcutaneous injections? A. They should not be given in someone with fragile or delicate skin. B. They should not be given to someone taking blood thinners. C. The medication is absorbed by the body quicker when compared to intramuscular injections. Or D. Patients can often be taught to manage their own subcutaneous injections. The correct answer is C. Medications injected into the subcutaneous tissue are absorbed slower into the body compared to intramuscular or IM injections. This is because the muscle tissue accessed in IM injections contains lots of blood vessels that help quickly distribute the medication throughout the body, whereas the subcutaneous level contains fewer blood vessels and is composed mostly of fat. All the other options are true regarding subcutaneous injections. Question 3. Buckle doses are given A. Under the tongue B. Inside the cheek C. On the surface of the skin or D. Inside the nostrils The correct answer is B. Inside the cheek. Drugs administered by this method are placed inside the cheek where they dissolve through the oral mucosa and subsequently enter the bloodstream. Question 4. If a drug is prescribed to be administered AD, where should it be given? A. Both ears B. Right eye C. Left eye or D. Right ear the correct answer is D. AD comes from the Latin oris dextra meaning right ear. Question 5. Which of the following is not a common site for IM injection? A. Upper arm. B. Thigh. C. Abdomen. Or D. Buttock. The correct answer is C. Abdomen. While the other three choices are all typically good options for an IM injection, the abdomen can be used for subcutaneous, not IM, injections. Question 6. Which of the following is true of the rectal route of drug administration? A. It is abbreviated as PR. B. Drugs can be in various forms, including solids, liquids, and foams. C. It typically works well for children. Or D. Drugs administered this way have a systemic effect on the body. The correct answer is D. While drugs given rectally can affect the entire body, such as a rectal acetaminophen, it can also work locally, as with enemas. Question 7. A capsule size of 5 is considered A. Too large to be swallowed by most adults B. The softest type of capsule C. The smallest type of capsule or D. A mid-range size capsule The correct answer is C. Capsules range in size from triple zero, the largest, to 5, which is the smallest size. Question 8. Which of the following is true regarding elixirs? A. Elixirs contain two elements that do not typically mix. B. Elixirs can be given orally, rectally, and nasally. C. Elixirs have a bitter taste. Or D. Elixirs contain less alcohol than tinctures. The correct answer is D. Elixirs typically have an alcohol concentration of 3 to 25 percent, whereas tinctures have a concentration ranging from 25 to 60 percent. Elixirs have a sweet taste and are taken orally. A substance that contains two elements that typically do not mix is called an emulsion. For free practice test study guides and flashcards for the pharmacy technician exam, please visit us at uniontestprep.com forward slash PTCB pharmacy technician certification exam.